Tyron Lue speaks on P.J. Tucker, Bones Highland, and speaks about Brandon Boston Jr. will get his opportunities tonight as well. Check out the video. Uh, Bones not being here. I'm, I'm, not try, I'm not trying to talk about this before the game tonight. So what's that situation of having guys where, you know, you got to have them reset before, before an all-star break? Well, to me, I mean, it's a good thing because I play the game and I understand that, you know, you want to have competitors on your team. They want to play. And so, you know, when you try to get traded and it doesn't work out and you want to go to a place where you want to play, it's not, it doesn't mean they're not, um, they're not happy here, which they are, but they want to play. They want to compete. And when you got guys like PJ who have another year left on his deal, he can buy up until the sunset. He's 70 years old, you know, but he wants to play. He wants to compete. And so you understand that you want guys like that. So, you know, the trade didn't happen. They're going to be here. So we just give them a little time off, you know, get their minds right and come back to Oklahoma City and be ready to go. I mean, we've been talking about PJ, but as far as Bones, like you saying, like, he would have welcomed the trade last week if that would have happened? No, or? I'm just saying, like, they want to play. Yeah. Like, they want to compete. They want to play. And so um, the team we got now, we've been playing at a high level right now. It's not any room right now. So they understand that. And so um, they want to play and compete. It's not – they didn't get traded. They're going to be here. And so we want to give them a little time, get their heads right, come back to Oklahoma City and be ready to go. Did that make the situation more difficult because you guys have been playing so well? Because it feels like in recent years there have been opportunities yeah. to set the rotation up, but like right now you've had a set rotation for a Yeah, while. I mean, we had a set rotation, which has been a problem in the past. Like guys are in and out. We made trades at deadline, so we're just trying to figure it out. And now we finally got it figured out, and we've had a, a long run with James and those guys in the rotation, so it's been good for us. And um, you know, it's not something we want to change right now. How do you anticipate Brandon stepping up tonight? Because when Paul missed, obviously, Bear started. Yeah. Brandon played really well with his opportunity. What, what does he have to do to keep that going against a different team in Golden State? Yeah, I think just understanding how we need him to play. Like, you know, taking the challenge defensively, you know, taking his catch and shoot threes, driving closeouts, playing off the basketball. But you did a good job when he got his opportunity in Washington. Thanks, Doc. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I guess we got to talk about Kawhi. Like, um, him not being here and everything, is that something that happened Monday night or is that something that's been brewing for a couple of weeks? Like, it's been going? brewing for a little while and he had some hip soreness, you know, going in the last game and, you know, he tried to play through it. And then when the game kind of got out of reaching the fourth quarter, you know, he didn't want to bring him back, you know, because he's experiencing that um, left sore hip. So, but he'll be okay. And, you know, is that, so is that something that's related to December or? I'm not sure. You know, I didn't really dive into it. I just know he was experiencing some, you know, little pains here and there. And um, he played through it, you know, and then you know, that fourth quarter, the game kind of got out of reach, so it wasn't worth chancing it. So, you know, we got him out of there. Yeah. Is there any concern that he won't be good to go for your guys' first game back post All-Star break, or do you think that the All-Star break should get him good to go? I think the All-Star break should get him, get him ready to be to play, I hope, you know, but um, I don't think it's something that's serious. No. You know, it's mixing it up, but like, how much tougher does it get to defend this team considering how tough they are to defend and how much they move in a point that was that for them? Yeah, I mean, it's tough. Anytime we play around Kawhi, PG, James, any of our guys, it's tough, you know, but um, to have another defender on the floor, like you said, with Steph and Clay and the way they move the basketball, the way they play in transition at home, um, the pace they play at, it's always great to have, you know, additional defenders, but, you know, we got to, like I said, next man up and be ready to play. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video, Hoop Life Family.